hello welcome to this tutorial today i'm going to show you how to create or punch holes on a steel plate in tecla structures welcome once again to this tutorial and uh, i'm morris dimba and let's get started here if you take a look on the screen you'll be able to see a plate right here already created this is our plate it is 20 millimeter thick i'll, ju I'll just double click just to, to check on the properties of these uh, steel plates you can see here the name is plate and the profile is plt 20 which means plate 20 millimeter thick 20 millimeter thick and the material is uh, s275 i think you can read that if uh, if you want to change the material you can just cl click on this radio button here and you can pick on the appropriate material or uh, select a grade of your preference here and click apply i'm comfortable with the with the s275 i just close that now I'll just close this also. I'll, I'll just taking you through to check the properties of my plate here. Now, the next step, I'm going to mark out my plate. Now, I'm going to use edit here, edit tool here, and can I'll come back to points here. Then I'll pick the first option, which is online. I'll pick this. This will uh, locate my center point on this plate along the edge now i'll snap on that spot and uh, snap uh, at this end i want to locate the center at the edge of this plate then i'll give it an offset of, of 100 millimeter let me just click on that first and right click and click interrupt just to take me off that command now i've located my point right here at the at the midpoint of, of this uh, uh, at the midpoint on this edge now i'll click once again on this point and right click and come to special copy here and click linear now i want to give it an offset of 100 millimeter inside now i'll change the z y axis here and also these ones i don't i just need one of these now to populate this along this direction this will work best with uh, for me with regard to location or the orientation of my xyz the x y z is located here and uh, i have my x facing this direction and my y facing that direction now i want to populate this along the y axis now i'll come to y axis here and i'll feed that 100 millimeter here i want that offset inward by 100 now i'll just type that and because the direction of my X, Y, Z axis is pointing on the positive direction, so there's no need of, of prefixing this dimension with either with either a plus or negative sign. Now I'll go straight away and click copy, and I'll click OK, and right click and exit from that command, and just click that point right here again, and delete that, and delete that. Now we'll go straight away and delete this point. And uh, once I've selected that, I'll just, I'll just press delete and it's gone. Now, what I want to do now, I want to populate those some, uh, some number of points on this direction and number of points on that direction at a distance, as at an interval distance of 150 millimeter, center to center. Now I'll click on that, right click and come to special copy here once again and click linear. Then I want to populate this along this x y x i mean x axis then and now i'll delete this i'll change that to zero and uh, i'll target z, uh, i mean x axis and i'll feed 150 right there and i need uh, approximately eight of these now i'll go straight away and click copy uh, that it's in excess of one and uh, i'll just click undo and i'll come back here and change this to seven i'll click ok the seal there are still several and we don't need a lot of these i'll just click and do that when i change this to four this will uh, four will be enough and that's okay and click okay now again i'll do the same thing i'll click on that i'll click on that right click and come to special copy here and click linear now now i'll prefix this 150 millimeter by a negative sign because it is i'm, I'm trying to po populate this point in the opposite direction of uh, x axis now I'll, I'll prefix this 150 by a negative sign now i'll go straight and click copy and click ok right click and uh, interrupt 
Now, I've created, um, uh, I've marked the points on my plate, the points I intend to punch holes or create holes on. Now, again, I'll come back on, uh, on, uh, on points once again and click that. I want, again, to locate the center point of this plate. I'll snap at the at the center of this at the center here at the midpoint here along the edge of this plate. Then I'll go all the way to that end and snap right there. I'm trying to locate the center point of this plate. Now there we are. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to select this point and right click and come to copy. I want to copy this point from this and I want to hold this point from this end. I'll pick uh, from that and locate it on that spot and this is the point i want now we can check this if is if it is actually 100 millimeter there it is it is 100 millimeter right there now what i'm going to do is very simple i want to go straight and start creating my holes right here i'll click on this radio button uh, to access the applications and component dialog box i'll click right there and just type here hole and uh, these two will come up or this macro will come up for hole generation just double click on it just to take a look on the on the on the properties inside this window of hole creation tackle structures under parameters we have options here we have if you want to create a hole with reference to a point just off the center of of your hole now, in our case, I want to create a hole with reference to the center of my hole. So I want to, I want, I want my reference to be at the center of my hole, and I want to create a, a circular hole. Now I'll pick on this option. Once I've picked the size of my hole, I want it to be 60, or I can change this to any any dimension. So once you've picked that, you feed your 60 here, and also just feed 60 here. In my case, it has been created because I'm using I'm, I'm using the same same settings. Now, under parts to be cut, under this drop down arrow, just click on this drop down arrow and pick on uh, the type of hole you intend to create. In this case, I'm I'm trying to create or I'm going to create a circular hole. I'll pick circular hole right there. Then coordination coordination system, just click on this drop down arrow here and uh, pick on these two. Normally, I'll normally it's best to work with global uh, x y plane i'll pick on that then rotate it just leave it at no right there then go ahead and click modify to accept that now once you've done that you can take a look here on the bottom end here once you've invoked this uh, macro here the program is asking you to pick the the object you want to create all i mean holes from now i want to create holes on this split now i'll go ahead and click this plate so the, the moment you've clicked on on the, on the part you you intend to create holes on just go ahead and press your middle button on the mouse like like that and it'll ask you again to pick the the position i want to create uh holes in my case but i want to uh take reference from from the center of this point point this point will be my center of my reference uh, i mean center of reference now i'll snap right there on one of the on one of the points now i'll wait for it to load there there we are and uh, just right click and exit from that uh command i've created my hole right there with reference to this point which is actually right at the center of my hole you can as well adjust your hole right there you can feed 100 right there and go ahead ahead and click modify just click on it then uh, click modify let me just double click on it once again and i'll come here and click and feed 100 and you'll see th that adjusting itself to 100 now because my settings i i, I preferred my 60 to be there yeah i just leave it at 60 millimeter uh, diameter i've created that i'll go ahead and click apply and accept that i want to populate this hole to the other points to to all these points now what i'll do i'll just select the hole itself let me just close this because it's now an obstruction to our work now once i've selected this hole i'll right i'll right click and come to special copy here and click linear then once i've uh, 
I've, uh, I've clicked linear, this window of copy linear will, will uh, pop up. So from here, you, you'll be able to feed the appropriate dimensions that will uh, really make you populate this along these points with appropriate interval measurements. In, the, in our case, the center to center is 150 millimeter, center to center of each point. Now, before you populate, check the orientation or the position of the X, Y, Z axis. The X, Y, Z axis, you can take, the, you can check a look, you can take a look at the, on the position here. It is that X, X, Y on that direction. Now, in our case, you want to work with X axis, but is, you will move on in the opposite direction. Now, what I'll do since from the center of this end, there were four. Now I'll, I'll require eight of these in this, in, at this end. I'll go straight away and click copy and wait for the result. There we are. And I'll, and I'll go ahead and click OK. Right click and exit from that copy command. Now what I'll do, I'll click on empty screen just to remove all, this, all those selected objects. Now I want to populate this whole cell again along the Y axis. Now what I'll do, I'll pick on each and every hole here. I'll pick on each and every hole here. Pick on that, pick on that. Then uh, bring this close and pick on, the, on, on these holes. I mean all of them and I'll go ahead and right click and come to special copy right here and click linear. Now once I've done that now I'll populate this on a different axis but in, uh, in this case we'll be, we are going to work with the, the y axis. Now on x axis I'll uh, take it back to zero and uh, now on uh, the y axis I want to populate this at 100 millimeter center to center but uh, I'll require close to 13 of these. I'll just type that. But in our case, we, ha we have w uh, one row already, so I'll just type 12. Now, I'll just click copy and wait for the result right there. There we are. Our holes have been uh, populated along the X, I mean the Y axis. Now, I'll go ahead and click OK right here and right click and just to get off or to get an exit of that command now we've not reached this point which means i was supposed to just type 13 of them now i'll just go ahead and uh, popul and uh, populate just uh, one row just go let me, let me just select everything here pick on that i'll pick on that and pick on this i'll right click once again and come to special copy and pick linear and in this case i'll just type one here i'll just delete that too and click copy now oh, there we are and uh, it's complete now now what i'll do go and go ahead and do and i click ok and right click and uh, click interrupt just to exit from that now i'll click on empty screen to deselect everything now I'll press I'll press my mild button and press control on my keyboard and I'll turn this round like this so that we can be able to have a, a clear view or a top view of this. I'll right click and come to redraw just to refresh and remove all those points. I'll um, rotate this once again and you'll be able to see the the holes right there. If I switch back to the top view by going to view and clicking switch to to that to to 3D or uh, or plane the same thing you can do you can, you can press ctrl p and uh, you can switch to you can switch back to isometric view and uh, plan view now this is where we are and uh, this is how we mark out and create holes on uh, steel plate integral structures now at this point at this point we'll wind up on this point and uh, don't forget to subscribe to subscribe to this channel if you're new I'm Morris Dimba and let's meet on the next presentation and bye bye.